surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Created a space Hey guys, this is a dining chair that comes in this set that I got from Walmart a long time ago and I want to change my dining set So instead of throwing them away, I will take two and make a little table with it I'm gonna take off all of the attachments and leave just the back. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I did this for two chairs. I'll be attaching wood to it, so to create holes there, I'm going to be using drill bits that can go through metal and steel. I got wood from Home Depot and cut it to size and then I'll be using it to hold both of them together in the middle. The tiers are slightly curved so I'm going to be putting something under so that I can know the measurements that I'll be using for the top. Just to be more accurate, I put it up and put some support at the bottom. Now these are the holes that I made that's going to help me install the wood to hold both of them together. Now the first wood is going to come at the top and the second wood is going to be in between them. After I put them all together and I got the measurement that I wanted, I took off the top to see if I could cut it. So this is what I did at first and I didn't like it. So I wanted something circular and because I don't have a miter saw, I had to improvise using hula hoop. I cut it and then placed it on the wood and traced out the shape that I wanted. After that, I made a lot of holes using my drill gun, tracing out the line to make it easy for me to cut it off. And then I made the edges smoother with a pair of scissors. This is a black marble contact paper that I got online and the link for this will be in the description box below. I'll be using this to cover up all of the wood that I'll be using for this project. The idea I had of using screws to attach the wood did not turn out so well, so I had to use zip ties. What I did was to use my drill gun to make two holes on each side to make it easy for me to pass the zip ties in and out. I did this for all four sides to make it easy to attach the both legs at the bottom and the two sides at the top. Because the screws I used for the top didn't come out the way I wanted it to, I had to use zip ties there as well. This is just to hold it in place because I will use a U-pipe clamp afterwards. I got this chandelier decor piece from the Dollar Tree. And this is how, after you assemble it together, it would look like. Now, but I don't really want to use it this way. What I did was to just cut off this part here. And because the two parts that come in a pack look different, I got four packs. I spray painted them gold and then I glued them to the parts of the chairs to add to the design. As I continued, I cut out this part. I'll be filling some part of it with gems. 
To cover up the space at the top, I'll be using a leftover table runner from another project. It kind of looks like what I got from the Dollar Tree, but I'm just going to use a table runner. And after I attached it, this is what it looks like. I forgot to mention that I added something at the bottom and I used the same measurements that I used for the top. This table is perfect for small corners in the home. I wanted to see what else I can use the pieces for. So I decided to make shelves with them. So I got two of these and then I'll reduce the length using a pipe cutter. The link for this pipe cutter will be in the description box below. It's easy to use, you just open it up to the size of the pipe that you're gonna cut. Make sure the pipe fits snug inside, then make it really tight and start turning it. And at intervals, it could be getting loose, so you have to tighten it up and you keep going until you have your perfect cut. For the top of the shelving, I'll be using a canvas panel that I have at home and I'll be cutting it to size. I got mine from Walmart. They have it at the Dollar Tree as well and they come in different sizes. I measured where I want the hole to be for the shelf. And I'm using my scissors to give me a wider hole. I later decided to reduce the length of the other side of the pipe using a pipe cutter as well. Now using this hole here, is where I'm going to be holding both pipes together using zip ties because the other pipe has the same hole as well. I want the shelf to have a triangular shape at the top. And now that that is done, I'll be attaching the canvas panel using machine screws. I made a mistake when I was getting this and it's one and a half inches long. So I recommend you use shorter ones that are about an inch long. I used the same pieces that I used for the table, spray painted them gold and then used them to decorate the top of the shelves. And now I'm just going to be cutting the pieces to fit the triangular shape of the shelf. This is what it should look like, and then I made two. To make it similar to the table, I covered the canvas panel with marble contact paper. Now this part here at the back, where the zip tie is, is where it's going to be hanged on the wall. I covered a small piece with contact paper, so I can cover up these open pipes. This is what it looks like when you have all of them together. This is an interesting way of turning chairs that I would have thrown away into a cute table with matching shelves. I have to say that I'm not a professional furniture maker. This is just a DIY project and I love the way it turned out. The design can also be altered to suit your style. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.